Hi, I'm John, and this is the sixth update to my Commodore 64 OS project. First I'd like to thank everybody who have subscribed, just past 1000 subscribers, which is a bit surprising, but uh, still, I hope I have something good to show you. So let's just jump into it. I'm using Vice emulator here, with two drives. One is using the fast loader driver on drive 8, <clears throat> and the other one is a kernel driver on drive 9. And um, what I have been working on is uh, reworking some of the file system and events re related to file systems. Uh, the OS uh, project always has uh, points where I just need to rewrite a lot of code and I had to rewrite a lot of the events code and actually all the applications in order to support this. And um, what I can do now is that when I drag over a file to copy it, it will show uh, progress information. <clears throat> so the progress uh, is reported by the file system to the application as an event. You will notice that the loading went much quicker than the saving, so half of the progress went pretty fast and the last half is pretty slow. And that's because the last half is saving through the kernel functions while the loading went through the fast loader functions. And when I do this, <coughs> you will notice, also notice that um, input is smooth during the loading process because then I have full control over the IRQ but when the saving starts you know see the mouse here is lagging and if you drag stuff around the screen now then it will la lag a lot so this is why I want to pursue a fast loader whenever I can because it gives me more freedom to have control over the CPU and the usage of it uh, the kernel functions they take, they grab, uh, they stop interrupts, so that's a problem. Uh, and uh, sometimes they stop them for several frames, and that's when you have these huge lags. So, <clears throat> um, another thing that I've been working on is the ability for uh, uh, having uh, folders. And uh, I can demonstrate this through mounting another disk here. Drive number 9, and uh, when it loads the directory structure, we see that it has detected that four of these are folders. And these act just like folders, you can click into it and you get a list of the files, and you can click this back to previous directory, just like we used to in other systems, although some of them have started hiding this uh, link and rather than you have to click another button on the toolbar somewhere but I kind of like this uh, you know it's like a folder that you can go back to and <clears throat> interesting thing about this is that uh, it works just like uh, uh, a flat file system actually but uh, it's all a bit uh, you know trickery <laughs> through naming conventions um, I can show that a bit later. And you can also take uh, any file you want to and put it into uh, a directory you want. For, for example, if we had this games folder, we can open a different disk here, for example. Let's open this uh, apps application disk on drive 8. So then we can take this big count application and drag it over here and it puts it into that folder. <clears throat> so it actually applies the naming convention in order to do the copy uh, into that folder. So, so that means that uh, it looks like it's part of this folder. Of course I copied into this. And you can also of course start the application directly on the other disk like this. So to demonstrate the next thing, I need to actually disable uh, uh, TrueDrive emulation. 
and then do a restart. And I'm going to attach a cartridge called IDE64. <clears throat> so this is like a hard drive or usually a compact flash you can connect to a cartridge uh, connected so it acts like a hard drive actually and um, I can then load the operating system so if I now if I now mount on drive 9 this uh, blank this um, bundle I can also demonstrate that you can open floppy disk 12 here and that's the IDE drive the IDE 64 drive and if I open this here number 9 I can take any application that I have here like this game and I can drag it over and it copies over of course, any copy now goes much faster than uh, it's uh, actually going to do because of the true drive emulations turned off. But for a memory drive or like a, a, a compact flash drive, this isn't too far off what you can expect in uh, speed uh, when doing a copy. So I can do a copy here like this, we can see. Mm -hmm. And of course you can, it's like any other device, you can, we can start this image viewer and uh, so it's associated to images and then we can load this Blade Runner image. And it loads very quickly of course now, so. So that's actually all I have to show this time. Uh, the file system is something that I've been working a lot on. But I think I will take a break from this part of the operating system now and focus more on user interfaces uh, issues that I want to update. Among them, a rewrite of the Windows system, which I've been planning a long time. And uh, I hope I have something to show you the next time with regards to that. Okay, thank you. If you have any questions, you can put them in the comments below and I uh, hope I can answer some. And uh, until next week then, goodbye.